everyone, Fluffy here, back with an oldies haul. I know, I know, I'm so sorry. I've been really trying to film, but I just, I don't know. I don't even, I don't know. Anyway, here I am with an oldies haul. The kid is out of town again. She left last week, and she's going to be gone at least two months. I did do the breakfast with the niece and my mother this morning. But the niece went with my mom to help with her dog. Uh, that's a whole nother story I'll explain at the end. So I'm doing this by myself. So, But we'll get it done, right? Didn't do a whole big shop. Don't want to spend a lot of money until I know what the electric bill is going to be. Ooh. Bills, bills, bills. But y'all know what I mean, right? <laughs> I hate bills. And just to think, I couldn't wait to grow up. As you saw, on the th well, I don't know if I'll use it as a thumbnail, but I've been doing thumbnails, and then for some reason, YouTube's been giving me better thumbnails, so anyway, here's the low-carb bread for some of y'all. Welcome, welcome. Uh, my numbers have increased slightly, so all of y'all, welcome to my YouTube family. This is Fit and Active Bread I get from Aldi's. It is a 15 net carbs for two slices. That's only seven and a half carbs per each as opposed to like 23 25 for a regular slice of bread. Y'all know I love my Aldi's bread. Eggs on sale, 49 cents a carton this week. This week, Denise. Hey, Fluffy, we don't need eggs. I said, shut up. At this price, everybody needs eggs. <laughs> right? Am I right? Okay. Cherries, $2.99 a bag. They are beautiful cherries, y'all. Look at that. Beautiful cherries. Some baby bella mushrooms. Hot pork rinds, one for each of us. We have been into this salad mix lately. It doesn't mean we've been eating right, y'all. <laughs> but a lot of this is all low carb because she and I have decided we just really have to get back on it. I don't, I thought we got two of these. Maybe we just got one for now. Like I said, we were trying to be careful with the bill because um, of the electric bill. Some Kraft American Singles. Some sweet cream, salted butter. This better be salted. Sweet cream, salted butter. Cracker cuts. I know this is probably their Cracker Barrel. Uh, extra sharp cheese. Love these little squares. And the extra sharp only allows me to eat like three slices, which makes it last longer. Because the medium or mild, I will just tear up. Heavy whipping cream. I think Denise is going to try to do the meal tonight. And uh, she got the recipe from my mother. And so if she does the meal, then I will do a mukbang tonight. Emphasis on if. She's shearing the dog. So cream cheeses. I love the chive and onion from Aldi's. Uh, you know that I am, you know, I'm not a label whore or name brand whore. I'm really not, except for when it comes to my cheese. But all these has really excellent cheese. This chive and onion cream cheese is so good. So I went ahead and got some plain. I love cream cheese and pork skins, y'all. I really do. We got some spreadable butter. We needed it for something. Italian sweet cream for the niece, y'all. They did not have my sugar-free vanilla. Thank God I have the open one and two backup. <laughs> While I'm folding this, my mother has a German Shepherd Malamute dog, and it costs her like $120 every time she takes the dog to get groomed because, and this last time they considered him a difficult dog and she's not allowed to bring him back. He's an outdoor dog, even in this heat. I hate it, but she keeps ice in its bowl. She waters him down, but every year she tries to shear him. Well, he's 16 years old, times seven, you know, and, uh, his fur is really super matted, so we went to the tractor supply after all these to see about getting a sheep shearer because he broke the dog shearer. 
five of the Roma tomatoes. And, uh, so the lady, she's got a Malamute. So, of course, she's got to tell my mother, have you tried this? And she went over it like three times and I was getting so aggravated. My niece thought I was going to say something and I wanted to, but I didn't. So anyway, they're going to try to comb him out, which he's not going to let them. And then try to shear him. But she's going to need sheep shears. And that's what we went in there for. But the lady, I don't know. Some mixed nuts. I'm going to try to keep this at the kitchen table. Because if it's by my my uh, side table in the living room, it, it, they're going to be gone. You know, $1.99. At our HEB, these are $7.99. So they were good last time. So we I got the best container. Bananas. Denise thinks these are enough for her, but they're really not. She's gonna. We're gonna end up needing more before the time's out. Y'all, the kids usually put the stuff away. I'm running out of rope. <laughs> That's okay. We don't have a whole lot more. We got more pumpkin seeds for the niece. Very low carb. A nice big head of cabbage. I'm going to do the fried cabbage, y'all. I asked my mother. I said, Mom, I'm gonna do. Uh, some more of my fried cabbage. Would you like some more? I was shocked. She goes, yes, I would really like some more. So I'll have to make it in the next couple of days. And I won't do it on camera because y'all have seen me make it twice now. Um, but I was just really excited that my mother wanted some. It's not like her to get food from other people. So I got some more breakfast blend coffee. My daughter, when... Um, Amazon had that Amazon Prime Day, and she got the Vita Cup for half price, and she got a giant box of 40, but I'm going through coffee so much, I feel guilty just doing the Vita Cups. So I got me some more breakfast blend because I'm drinking a lot of coffee. And then I got some decaf. Now, I'm of the opinion, decaf coffee, what's the point? I like it fully leaded, but I've been drinking so much coffee lately that I've been drinking it late at night. And you, us warriors know we have a hard time sleeping anyway. And the muscle relaxers are really not even working. And I think it's because I'm having too much caffeine late at night. Caffeine didn't used to bother me like that. I mean, I could drink it till 2 o'clock in the morning. And then at 2.30, I'm in bed. But my body's changing. So uh, they didn't have K-cups and decaf. So I went ahead and got the canister. And I'm hoping it's good. We'll see. It's medium roast. We'll see how I do if, if that's the culprit. Because, you know, decaf coffee, I mean. But I am a coffeeaholic, so. Is there a coffeeaholic synonymous? Because, yeah, I love coffee. Love the taste. I love the smell when it's brewing. I just do. Okay. Oh, just one more bag of the cold stuff. I told you. I don't even know how much how much it was. I gave the card to the niece and told her to buy the stuff, and she's not here, and I think that the receipt is shoved in my purse. So I think I spent, I don't know how much I spent. If I, get, if I think about it during editing, I'll add it in. So how much I paid for it will be right here. If I <laughs> um, got some more of this, hard salami. A cooked ham. Y'all, funny thing. Denise won't mind me telling you. Uh, right before the, the kid left, you know, we tried to use what we have in the pantry and getting through the vegetables and stuff. And uh, she was making me and the niece a breakfast sandwich. And so the niece likes honey ham. And uh, so we had the honey ham and she smelt it. I thought it smelt okay. And the niece tasted some. And she told my daughter... Oh, no, it's fine because the daughter thought that it was bad. So she ate that. So she ate a ham sam breakfast sandwich. And then we ate a couple of more things during the day. By the end of the day, she was whoop. And so we think it was the ham was bad. So right now, the niece is not wanting ham. That's why I only got the cooked ham. <laughs> I love cooked ham. <laughs> we got this kind of salami as well. Some bacon for the fried cabbage. Look, I'm running out of room, y'all. <laughs> and 
And this right here, um, it wasn't on sale, but it is it was three thirty nine a pound. It is one point nine eight pounds, six seventy one. It says it's a twin pack, so there's got to be two sirloins in here. And this is what's going to be on the menu tonight, along with some, pardon me, some veggies. So we'll see how it turns out, and we'll taste it together. That's about it. I wanted to take a moment for those of y'all in Texas and anybody outside of Texas, if I would love for y'all and asking for prayers for the people in of El Paso. They had a shooter go in with an AK-47 and his his uh, deal was he wanted and uh, to shoot anybody that was brown. Uh, and that's what he said, or they found his, um, I forgot what they call it now, but anyway. He is alive. And then right afterwards, there was a shooting in Ohio. Uh, it happens sometimes, copycats. Uh, that shooter, I, from what I hear, is dead. But let's pray for the people in El Paso and pray for the people in Ohio. It's just tragic. So um, what else has been happening here? I think that's it. The kid's gone. The, uh, I think we're doing real good. Oh, uh, hopefully it'll be up. I haven't edited it. Uh, the niece did a cleaning video. Um, hopefully y'all have seen that. If not, it'll come up right after this one. We wanted to have her clean the kitchen too, but we it just never got dirty enough to do an actual cleaning video. <laughs> the niece suffers with anxiety like I do. And so when she gets anxiety, she likes to move. And since, you know, she's been cleaning around here, she loves to clean. So she's like, I'll, I'll make the longer video because I can't stand for very long. So I taped her doing the living room. Uh, it's going to be a short video, but I'll put it up. Um, it'll be one of the rare times that one film will come up later than the other. You know what I mean? Like when you watch my videos, I think except for one other time, they're in the order in which I live the situation. You know what I mean? But this time, this was filmed last week. And so I still haven't edited it yet. I know. I know. Just drama. Uh, so uh, I'll I'll try to edit that one first and then get this one up. And But hopefully both of them will be up today. And then tonight I'll film a mukbang. I won't know if it'll come out late tonight or first thing in the morning, depending on when I can get it edited. Okay? So having said all that, God bless y'all. Positive vibes out to each and every one of you. Remember to always be kind and be your own advocate. I love y'all, and I will talk to y'all real soon, okay? Bye.